Now, are you the new voice of Film City's international ad campaign? Well, you can enter to win $3,000 if you are chosen. Plus, a session with esteemed voice coach Mr. Sheun Shoba, and he is standing by all the way in the U.S. to join us this morning. We also have joining us on set one of the judges of Film TT's Voice Challenge competition, Miss Aisha Manrique. So, Mr. Shobo, Aisha, good morning. Thank good. you so much for joining us on now. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us. How are you in the U.S., Mr. Shobo? I'm doing very well in the U.S. here. Um, of course, I'm here on just a short stay, um, but I'm going back in Nigeria, my home country. So. Nice. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to come to Aisha first. Aisha, tell us about this Film TT Voice Challenge. Well, we saw the ad that's been on uh, online for a few weeks now. Correct. And so you're asking for that special voice to go over that, uh, that ad. Tell us why. Excellent. So Film TT is having an exciting initiative where we are showcasing the beauty of Trinidad and Tobago to all film filmmakers throughout internationally. So now, this has come about after a series of conversations with the general manager of Film TT, Leslie Ann, and I would have shared with her Film TT is doing such an excellent job promoting the actors in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. But what about the voice actors? Thankfully, Leslie Ann has been very enthused and open and excited about the idea of promoting voice talents in Trinidad and Tobago. Right. Yeah? Yeah. Now, what we decided to do is marry both worlds, where Film TT will have that excellent promo, and then we're going to have the voice talents... Proceed. Good. We'll have the voice talents sharing their talents and skill by submitting a 45 second video right. showcasing why Trinidad and Tobago is the ultimate destination for all film filmmakers internationally. Now, we have already started receiving submissions and persons are really bringing their A game. And as I tell my students all the time, you have to find a way as a voice talent to go beyond captivating a person's eyes and ears and getting to their heart and minds. Yes, getting them to, to act their, that call to action. Mm -hmm. So the video is going to be it's already accessible it on is, Film yeah. TT's website, and it's also accessible via my Instagram page, Aisha Manrique Media, via mm -hmm. the link in my bio. Take a look at the video, internalize it, feel the energy, and then let the words come to you, and then script. Yeah. I would have voiced the promo, and what I did, that's the exact thing I did. Mm -hmm. So that's the advice I'm giving to, to all participants. When I listened to the music bed, I looked at the actor. That is what helped me to tap into my zone yes. to be able to say, calling all voice actors, we need you, right? And this, ladies and gentlemen, is something that you need to do. You hear the voice, you hear the enunciation, That's you hear the, the sort of clearness and the crispness in your voice. That's but correct. I want to go to Mr. Shobo because I know part of the competition, that winning competition, if you are the winner, is that one-on-one -on -one session with international voice coach, Mr. Shobo. Mr. Shobo, what are some of the things that the winners can look forward to during that one-on-one -on -one session with you when they win this competition? Well, for, for me, it's going to be a drilling um, it's going to be a drilling, drilling session because it's it's going to it's it has to be taking them from uh, the process of knowing who you are as a voice talent, understanding your voice texture, to so also the business of knowing how to you know sell yourself mm -hmm. as a voice over talent because that's very we're going to be looking at vocal awareness we're going to be looking at um, uh, the business of voiceovers branding yourself you know. Um, so it's going to involve a lot of details, right? When it, when when we're coaching, when we're doing the one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's very important for people to, in this day and age, it's important for you to understand that um, it's not just the talent, but it's also about selling yourself. Now, right. one one thing uh, my very good friend Aisha was talking about was, you know, knowing how to you know, not just get into the uh, eyes and ears of people, but the heart, you know, mm -hmm. taking it from your heart. And when you're taking it from your heart, you also have to learn how to sell yourself from your heart, right? Uh, that's very correct. And that's what we are going to be teaching. That's what I'm going to be teaching and coaching them about, right? Getting to know yourself from not just your voice, but also to selling yourself, right? So that you are an international brand. And when international uh, um, brands are looking for you, they're able to find you easily, Yes. Right. Uh, because in the way we are now, you must learn how to not just, you know, put your talent out, but also sell yourself. Right. Of course. And are you looking for seasoned voice actors? Or are you looking for anybody who believes that they are up for a challenge? 
Well, uh, is that for me or for Aisha? It's actually yeah, anyone it's, it's, it's that's up for the Aisha. challenge. Yeah, yes. anyone that's up for the challenge. Anyone that's up for the challenge. challenge. Yeah, because you see, there's this misconception where persons think that you have to have this great voice mm -hmm. to be successful in the voiceover industry. What I always tell my students, it's not about the voice. Yes, that plays a part. Yes. But it's what you can do with your voice. So if you are always, you know, you've always been wondering, how do I get involved in the voiceover industry? This is your opportunity. Is opportunity. You never know. Yes. So it's open to everyone. Experienced, up and coming, the challenge is open for you. Now, I know you can't give away all the tips, Aisha, but give us at least two things that you're looking for with this competition. I'm looking for resonance in the voice. From the moment I listen to you, I need to feel what you're saying. Mm. I need to be persuaded by... You have to sell Trinidad and Tobago. Remember, this is an international ad. So when viewers listen to you internationally, you have to keep in mind that this is the standard. Now, in Trinidad, we tend to be very, as they call it, announcery. Mm -hmm. Introducing. Very singing. Very That's singing. That's correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now... Uh, with me, with the coaching that I've been blessed to receive, I voice, I have clients that I voice for in Germany, St. Lucia, throughout the world, thankfully. What I've realized, that tone that persons are looking for, that style is conversational. Mm. So have a conversation with me. Don't speak to me, speak with me. Remember mm. to breathe in terms of your diaphragm, mm -hmm. your tone, right? A simple tip. If you yawn before you speak, that lowers the tone of your voice. So if you want a certain resonance, simply yawn before you speak, and that's going to help your voice to sound a little deeper if you want that sense of authority. Mm -hmm. Yes. So just to give a quick tip as well. It's about what I always tell my students. You have to internalize before you verbalize. See the scene. Feel it for yourself. You have to be sold by what you're going to say in order for your audience to, to be you know, intrigued by what you're selling. That's One of my amazing. latest ads was voiced for Huggies. What I had to do, which is a baby's, baby's arm product. Of course. I saw the baby in the booth. I saw the baby, the 10 fingers, the 10 toes, and that is what helped me to say, hello, baby, this is the wind. Awesome, isn't it? Huggies, we got you, baby. Because that's what babies yes, like. They yes, like yes, when yes. you put yourself in all sorts of <laughs> motion and your tone of voice. Yes. That is what you need to do. Feel the script, visualize it, and then just let it flow. Yeah. Mr. Shobo, I'm coming to you because I like that Aisha actually gave us what, you know, people in the international market are, what they're looking for. And from your experience, because you are an international coach, you obviously would have been working with people around the globe. What are they looking for in particular when they're looking for those voice actors? Whether it be for ads, whether it be for movies, that sort of thing. Okay, so uh, I, I also uh, buttress what Aisha just said. You know, one thing about when it, when it comes to coaching, one thing I always tell my students is people do not listen word by word. They listen mm. emotion by emotion. People do not listen word by word. They listen emotion by emotion. Because when the words go out, right, when your, when your voice goes out, it goes out as, you know, sound waves. And these sound waves, right, are interpreted right by the brain right and that's what you that's what you react to right so when you are able to buy into the emotions of people right being conversational right it gets to a point where people do not have a choice but to react now remember that we have different ways to communicate we communicate through images we communicate we communicate through words and we communicate through the voice now the word the voice is the most powerful tool of communication, right? Because why? It inspires action, right? So what people are looking for right now is for people, voices who are, you know, not just in inspiring action by just trying to follow a particular rule, but inspiring action in the truth of it, right? So people want to listen emotion by emotion. They're listening, emo right, sorry, not even want to listen. People listen emotion by emotion, right? right? right. Not just word by word, not just word by word. So for example, if I say, oh, welcome, you know, I say, welcome, there are two different things, right? The the the, the smile gives something out, right? And it gives yes. the, a, 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 an atmosphere of warmth. It gives it out already. So mm -hmm. we must learn that, you know, people listen emotion and by emotion. Therefore, we, we must also actually speak in a way or use our voices in a way that inspires action from the other people, yeah. all right, and from your audience. Mr. Shobo, I, I, I also have to ask, and I know that we're almost out of time, do you see a need or a want from, uh, for voice actors from the Caribbean? Or is it, I mean, 
are they going to hire you to do um, a, a, a normal role in a movie as opposed to speaking with a Trini accent, a Bajan accent, that sort of thing? Sorry, I, I didn't get that. Please come again. Sure. So do you see a lot of people looking for voice actors from the Caribbean? And then are they very particular about the accents? Do they be, uh, are they very specific in terms of, okay, I want this voice actor, but I want you to do this sort of accent. Do you see that happening uh, in an international space? Okay. Now, um, in today's world, what we are looking, what people are looking for is your authenticity, right? Um, so you don't necessarily have to have an American accent or an English accent. You know, you can be yourself and actually sell you know, in the voiceover industry. Look at someone like Aisha, for example. I mean, she's made her mark. She's trying to make a mark now in, internationally. She's, uh, you know, she's a voice to reckon with in the Caribbean. She's a voice right. to reckon with internationally, right? Um, and what she has is she has a Caribbean accent. She can even switch accents. However, she does stop um, basically with her Trinidad and Tobago accent, and the world is looking for her, right? right. So it's really not about um, trying to be someone. It's about your authenticity, Right. So as much as possible, what people are looking for is how authentic you are. For example, in Africa, where I come from, we get we get jobs from uh, China, from mm -hmm. um, England, the US, you know, and, and European countries as well. So mm -hmm. and what they look for most of the time is even your even our indigenous languages. Right. Um, so it's very, very important that people do not. Because it's not really about the language. It's not really about the accent most of the time. It's really about who you are or your originality, right? Bringing your originality to play, you know? So uh, as much as possible, um, all I always tell people is don't try to be anybody else, you know? Don't try to imitate because the world is looking for unique voices, unique languages every single day. Because when even when you want to communicate, to other people or you want to communicate to that target audience you're not going to talk for example in 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 nigeria yeah, there's a tribe called the yoruba tribe right so if you're trying to communicate with the yoruba tribe you can't communicate with the yoruba tribe using um uh, an american accent no they're not going to understand what you're saying right you have to use yoruba and you have to use right. the yoruba yeah. one season and yeah. the rest of that Thank you so right. much, Mr. Shobo. Yeah. And quickly, uh, Aisha, we have about 30 seconds I'm giving yes. you. Yes. Tell us quickly where we can get more info. Okay, so we can get more info on Film TT's website as well as my Instagram page, Aisha Manuki Media. One quick thing I want to say to my specific, specifically to Trinidad and Tobago voice talents. The voiceover industry is a billion dollar yeah. industry. You never know where your voice can take you, but you have to treat it as a business. So position yourself yeah. as such. Understand yeah. that your brand equity is very important. And of course, anyone needs assistance, I'm here to help. Aisha Manrique. Aisha Manrique. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us this morning. I'm thank getting excited already. Mm -hmm. And I know that our viewers are as well. So thank you so much. Let me also say a special thank you as well going on to Mr. Sheun Shobo, all the way in the US, who actually gave us some tips. And Aisha gave us some tips as well. Remember, it is that Film TT voiceover challenge. One more question. Deadline is? 15th of June. 15th of June. So you have a few more days if you want to enter this voiceover. Voice over competition. You're on the Now Morning Show. We're going to take a break and be right back. Stay with us.